What's up? Back to basic interpolation. Let's go. Welcome back guys. For those who are new, my name is Batten again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I cover things from basic to advanced MRI topics. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. I've been looking forward to uh, talk about this topic interpolation. I'm gonna take the practical part today and the theory you can go in here and then you can check this site. I usually go here if I want to do some fast search on my phone or tablet or computer, etc. It's very easy access and easy to do a fast search. So I will leave a link in the description down below. When it comes to interpolation, it can be a little bit confusing. You have a group which says, do not use interpolation. Then you have the other groups which says, you should use interpolation. So we're going to do a scanning session today where I'm going to do four test scans with different uh, weighted and in different planes. So without further ado, let's go to the scanner. All right, guys, we're going to do a scanning session uh, regarding interpolation. So like I mentioned earlier, we're going to do four different scans and we're going to compare this head to head in the end of this uh, scanning session. I'm using 1.5 Tesla today. It's the same with the 3T. A good colleague of mine uh, borrowed his knee, Aling. So a special thanks for him. He also knew. So new means that you have to lie in the scanner for testing. No, I'm just kidding. Really appreciating letting me borrow his knee for a few minutes to demonstrate this interpolation for you guys. Just gonna do a localizer here for positioning. So we're gonna start out with the coronal T1 toes echo coronal 2D. As you can see, the interpolation is on. In my earlier videos, I show you guys how you can um, find the uh, voxel size. The thing here now is that 180 divided by 384 gives you 0 0.47 millimeter. As you can see, there, that's the acquired one, acquired voxel. So interpolation is on. That means that you get 0 0.23 reconstruction times 0 0.23 and 3 millimeter. Okay. The pollution is on and uh, let's start the scan. So the next one is a T2 sagittal. Just going to position this one. As you can see here, the interpolation is also on here. Same voxel size here, 0 0.47, and then I reconstruct it to 0 0.23 millimeter. Okay, so let's scan this one. The next one I have is a PD FATSAT Sagittal. I'm just going to copy that one. And you can see the resolution here is 0 0.56. And then I have the interpolation on 0 0.56, acquired one, and the reconstruction is 0 0.28. So let's scan that one. I'm gonna do another T1 to spinaco coronal with a very low resolution. Just to check if it's working having interpolation on or off. Now I have acquired 1.41 millimeter box sizes. And then I have interpolation on, so it means that 0 0.7. Okay. Okay. So we already did four scans now. And I'm going to show you a technique where you can uh, do some modification just to be able to do comparison head to head without um, losing time and doing rescan. So the thing is that you can uh, hold shift and click the left click on the mouse on the echo down there. You will come in here to retrospective reconstruction. Let's locate the first sequence. That's the one. And then we can edit protocol. So in here, you have resolution there. And then you have interpolation factor two. Two means that it's on, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn this off, which means we're gonna put one. One means off. And then you're just gonna save the protocol. And then you're going to start recon. That means that you will get a duplicated sequence without any rescan and losing time. 
so we can compare in the end head to head whenever we're going to have it interpolation on and off so now i'm going to locate my second scan that's a t2 to a spinecco do the same here resolution from 2 which is on and i write 1 which is off save the protocol start recon and then we have the third one pd fatsat sagittal same here edit resolution and one save recon and the last one is coronal tube spin echo low resolution so same here edit resolution going from two to one save and start recon that's it currently i have duplicated my scanning which means i have a set with this on interpolation on and off as seen here we have one off here and one on there okay so i will let you decide which one is the best so just gonna scroll a little bit and then we're gonna zoom in here you can see the area there it's much sharper have an interpolation on so remember this is no rescan it's the same scan which means it's only on and off so you can't not say it's because of movement and yeah it's the same scan the difference is on and off and whenever you're having off it's less sharper than having on as you can see there look at the air at the meniscus it's so obviously sharper so let's go for a t2 let's see if we find anything here same here off and on look at the small details so remember having it off is not wrong but why not having it on it will give you a little extra bonus for the sharpness of the images which you already acquired it's so clear it's so obvious sharpness so pd fatsat sagittal does it work for pd fatsat you see the area there obviously sharper with the interpolation on okay this is one is very interesting like i mentioned when um, people are saying that uh, you should not use interpolation if the voxel size is above one millimeter so this is 1.41 and as you can see there whenever having it on it will still give you sharp images of course this is low res images here but it's clearly more details or better to watch when i have interpolation on okay so the question would be in the end of my scanning session this is 2d right so does this interpolation works on 3d as well let's find it out so i scanned this uh, head for a few weeks ago so you can see the interpolation is off there and it's on there so a little bit difficult to see there but look at the arrow right there it's much sharper more details having it on conclusion is is also working for 3d as well all right guys my scanning session is over so that's it well that's it guys were you surprised having it on it's so much better but there's something you need to remember let's say you have a fixed field of view and then you have a matrix so field of view divided by matrix will give you a red voxel size right a quiet voxel size let's take an example which is very important let's say you have a quiet 0 0.5 and then you have a quiet one millimeter but interpolate down to 0 0.5 so the interpolation 0 0.5 versus the quiet 0 0.5 this will be much sharper remember that the acquired one will be much sharper before we close up i have a question for you do you use interpolation please leave a comment in the comment section down below don't forget to smash the like button if you like this video and and subscribe put on the notification bell because you will get a ding ding whenever new things are coming up until next time i'll see you around